Ha! Musty 90s board games, my favourite! For me, board games are very nostalgic. They were a world of imagination and fantasy which offered something computer games couldn't. A tangible physical experience where you could hold the pieces, examine them and actually interact in the real world. They were also an opportunity to gather around a table and have some competitive fun with family and friends without actually having to be particularly nice to anyone. They were also a useful respite when your eyes had turned to dried apricots following a five hour Sinclair Spectrum stint of Spy vs Spy against your brother. I had various fantasy type board games but there were some which I was just resigned to stare at in the Christmas catalogues. One of these was the 1990 release of Treasures and Trapdoors from Waddington's. There was always something about a 3D board game which grabbed me, and when there were treasure, pyramid, snakes and freaking trapdoors involved, then it was another league entirely. I'm not even sure why this game slipped me by, although I suspect Space Crusade had something to do with it. But I digress. The game itself is for 2-4 players and was designed by Mary Danby, who also designed the Aladdin Magic Carpet game. In the box you get the pyramid baseboard, a few baskets which act as both your counter and your temporary vessel for treasure, a golden cobra which looks distinctly more golden on the box, a bunch of gemstones, mmm, gemmy, and these things which are called anchors. The game doesn't provide much backstory but tells us to imagine that you have found your way into a pyramid that has stood untouched in the burning desert since the time when pharaohs ruled in ancient Egypt. Deep in the inner chamber is the Golden Cobra, a gleaming treasure, blah blah blah, so on and so forth. The aim of the game is to work your way anti-clockwise around the board following the number of moves depicted in this little window. That's right, there's no dice. Each player simply follows the number of moves presented in this individual box. If you happen to land on one of these squares, then you can opt to spin the board. And that's where it gets all kinds of crazy! Players are able to obtain gemstones by landing on a closed trapdoor. But if you happen to be on one when the board spins, then there's every chance you'll fall into the deadly pit of snakes below and lose your gemstones. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Thankfully, these pharaoh eyes give you some sort of indicator as to whether this is likely to happen in the next spin, so there's a good degree of logic and planning involved. Which is good because I detest games which are purely based on chance. I guess you could also memorise the layout of a spinning board if you studied it hard enough or played the game enough, but that's only for serious professionals. If you happen to land on an anchor square, then you can dump your hoard of gems into the top basket of the pedestal. If you have three, then you get to enter the middle circle, where your goal changes to acquiring the Golden Cobra. And once you've grabbed that, you can then proceed to leg it out of the pyramid and leave your friends high and dry, where they'll no doubt fall prey to certain death. For me, this game is almost perfect. You don't need to roll a die and risk chucking it across the room, which seems to happen remarkably often with me. The game isn't too long and there's a hefty amount of fantasy and treasure hunting involved. Plus, there's a pit of snakes, which is just awesome, even if they are just cardboard. This copy cost me about 15 quid off eBay. So, if you happen to stumble across one in your nearby charity shop, I wholeheartedly recommend getting your Indiana Jones hat on and giving it a whirl. Thank you for watching my board game review of Treasures and Trapdoors. I've done a few more in the past and there will be plenty more to come along with lots of other videos on all sorts of topics and crazy things. Click on one below, contribute to my Patreon channel if you like, um, or just leave. It's up to you. But in any case, thank you for watching. Good night.